Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn uh, how to get a list of all check constraints uh, in SQL Server database. Uh, so let's go ahead and open SSMS uh, and then uh, uh, go to the database uh, uh, from which we would like to get this information. Um, I'm uh, going to use Tech Brothers IT database, uh, then go to tables uh, because we know that we create the check constraints uh, on columns on different tables. Uh, I think uh, I already know um, because I have created these tables and one of the table is called DBO customer and if I go to constraints uh, that's where one of the constraint I see but even from here I can't really tell uh, this is check constraint or not so if I need to gather this information for audit or maybe just for documentation I need to have some uh, uh, query or use some system views or system tables to get this information. I cannot go to the each of the table and uh, say go to constraints and uh, then uh, copy and all those kind of thing. I can uh, maybe go to the table and say script table as create and then go here and then let me see what it will return us. It will return us the create statement and also the alter statement uh, with, with that one we can see okay there is a check constraint. So uh, that's not the way to go. I always uh, prefer using uh, system uh, objects uh, to gather the information related to the table, constraints, the store procedure and all that. Click on the new query. We are going to use uh, sys.objects in this case. Uh, select asterisk from sys.objects. Uh, so this system view will return us all that information. You can see that uh, it is returning us information for system tables. It is uh, returning us uh, information uh, for internal tables, user tables and uh, views store procedures and all different uh, objects uh, but we are only interested in uh, check constraints uh, so we are going to filter these records by using the where clause uh, so we say where type description uh, equal to check constraint and now if we run this query it will return us only the check constraints uh, and you can see that right here type description is the check constraint this information is good we know that okay we got the constraint name i can uh, use something like this so i'm going to use name as constraint name and i can have comma so i will get all these uh, call asterisk will return all uh, all the columns but this column will be also returned but i'm using this one as i renamed kind of things just to uh, see this name as a constraint name Okay, we see that here, this column, rest of the columns are returned as it is. Also, I'm interested uh, to get uh, the uh, database name. So I can just dump this whole query in the Excel uh, for my documentation. So we can use the DB underscore name. So this will give us uh, as a DB name. And you see that uh, this function will return us uh, the database name uh, wherever our query is running. So if I run this one, you see I'm getting the database name. I got the constraint name. I want to get the table name or schema name as well. So first of all, it is returning a schema ID. So we have the function that can return us a schema name if we know the schema ID. So schema underscore name and it accept uh, the schema ID as a parameter or input parameter. So as a schema name. So now this is good is turning into really good information so we see that we have database name by using a schema name function we use a schema id from sys.objects and we get the schema name now we get the constraint name as well the one thing i would like to add here after the schema the object name on which this is created so it is created on a table and that's a parent object id so before schema i'm going to go ahead and say object name and that's another function we can use uh, to get uh, the object name if we know the object id so parent object id and i'm going to call this one as a table name and the put comma after that now execute now we have a database name we have table name we have schema name and uh, maybe it's Put the schema first and then table name that make more sense and here we have now if i run this query we have database name schema name table name and constraint name and if you get, need to get some more information like created on uh, created date and all that you can always uh, go ahead and use it now that's all we have and uh, if you want to also filter is ms shipped uh, so if it is a 
you want to ignore those uh, uh, objects which are shipped with the Microsoft SQL. Uh, they, you can have say is MS shipped uh, zero. You can always uh, have uh, let's say and is MS shipped is equal to zero. That's all we want. We don't want anything that is shipped with Microsoft. That will be that's where we will see the flag one. So we want to get the only user created uh, objects. So I don't need the asterisk anymore. So I can remove this asterisk, and this is the only information I need. So. That's works really, really fine. You get familiar with the sys.objects, uh, how to use the where class to filter the records, uh, and then how to filter um, the records and ignore further, like you are using two conditions here. You want uh, the type description check constraint for sure, but also you want where is MS shipped is equal to zero. That means we want only user objects, uh, and uh, we learn how to get the database name by using DB name function. We learn how to get the schema name, um, uh, by using a schema name function and we have to pass the schema ID we, we got to know object name function uh, where we have to pass the object ID and it return us the object name so thanks very much uh, for watching this video the script will be available on Tech Brothers IT and uh, I will put the link in the description uh, so you guys can copy and uh, um, use during uh, development or uh, for uh, creating the documentation and all that so thanks I will see you guys in the next video